Well, good morning again, everybody. Chaplain Joe coming back at you again. Today, I want to make another video talking about faith and patience, and we're talking about the subject of stay your course, finish your race, and fulfill your purpose. I want to read to you a couple different versions of Hebrews 12 and 2 when it reads, it says, Keep your eyes on Jesus, who both began and finished this race we're in. Study how he did it, because he never lost sight of where he was headed. That exhilarating finish is in with God. He could put up with anything along the way. Why? The cross, the shame, whatever. And now he's there in the place of honor right alongside God. I love also the way the New King James Version says it. It says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So there's a couple things, saints, we can glean from this. Number one, Jesus is the source of our faith. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. So look to Jesus. It said, just like he, you know, he endured the cross and the shame, he did it because it says the joy that was set before him. So he knew where he was going and the joy was so much greater than his present affliction or his, his present suffering that he was going through, the present pain. What, the future glory, the future exhortation, the future you know, event was so much greater than what his present was going through. So the author and finisher of our faith, he endured the shame, he endured the cross, he endured the pain, because where he was going, the eternal glory was so much better than his temporary circumstance. Saints, let this be a blessing to you. Also, it says he was the finisher of our faith, which means Jesus is going to complete what he did. And because he completed what he did, we're now saved today. We're now believers. We're Christians today. Because even though he wanted to give up, he said, Lord, you know, not this, you know, not my, my will, but thy will be done. But he said, if, if, if any way this could be delivered for me, in the Garden of Gethsemane, he said, Lord, if you can somehow take this away from me, go ahead and do it. But then he said, not my will, Father, but thy will be done. And we know it was the Father's will. So Jesus submitted to the Father's will. He submitted to that obedience. And we are now saved today because he went to the cross. So look at Jesus. Look at his obedience there. And look at him submitting to the will of the Father there. Even though in his flesh he didn't want to go through it. But he still did it. And because he did it, we are now saved today because he did. So saints, we're going to have times of struggle. We're going to have times of suffering and pain. We're going to have times where we're going to, we're going to not want to finish our race. We're going, to, we're going to want to quit. We're going to want to surrender. We're going to want to give up. But keep on keeping on. Look to Jesus. He's our example. And lastly, you know, I've said this many times before. My, my, one of my friends, Rick Pena, says this all the time. We have the grace to run our race, meaning we don't have the grace to run somebody else's race. So don't use this as a means to compare and look at other saints and say, well, they got this and they got that. Saints, no. My job is to run my race because I have the grace for my life and I don't have the grace to run somebody else's life. So don't get caught up in this comparison game as we're looking to be the author and finisher of our faith. You know, sometimes we can get very frustrated if it's not happening when we want or how we want or not quickly as we want. But not realizing, you know, I don't have the grace for somebody else's life. I have the grace for mine. So I don't have to be caught up in this trap of comparing myself to other believers. So continue to stay the course. Get a word from God. Once you know that you're here from God, don't stop on God. Don't quit on God. And look to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. And eventually, in his timing, he will bring it to pass. But don't quit and don't give up. Until next time, God bless.